Hey everyone, I'm Stephanie, hey Tony newbies, and welcome back you regular viewers. Today I'm going to be doing a video on products that I have completely used up and letting you know would I rebuy them again. So we will be having a lot of products to go through as I have um, been accumulating these over sort of the last month or so and all the products that I've run out of, I've kept to say for this video to say will I rebuy it or will it not be repurchased again now that I've run out of it. So if you want to see across hair care, skin care, tanning, um, body products, just keep on watching and do subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you like it and I'll get started. So first of all, I'm going to start with the body products that I have used up and will I be rebuying again. The first is the Rituals um, Harmonizing Foaming Shower Gel and this is 850. This is a, how many mils do you get? You get 200 mils and it's a gel foaming style body wash. I really, really enjoyed this. It smells nice, it's not too strong a scent and this was the Indian Rose and Sweet Almond Oil. So it smells very nice and relaxing. I really like this one for using actually as a body wash but also as like a shaving foam for your legs. Um, I really like it for that as well. So it's very dual purposed and it smells really nice and lovely quality for £8.50. So I really, really like this and would definitely be rebuying this again. And actually I might try one of the different scents as well just to try something a bit different, but this scent is absolutely beautiful, so I may just rebuy this scent, but I might go into the shop, see what the other scents are like, and then buy another one. The next body product is the Island Sand Body Scrub from Bath & Body Works, and I got this when I was in America, and yeah, I really, really like this. It um, leaves your skin super, super soft, it smells nice, and it really exfoliates the body really well, as a pre-tan um, step, I really like it, and also just as a weekly um, body exfoliating product, I really like, and you get 142 grams or five um, ounces. It smells lovely, really beautiful scent, very sort of tropical, but not overly tropical, just like really lovely sort of holiday scent as well. And I unfortunately will not be able to rebuy this one because it is from Bath & Body Works and we don't have that here in the UK. But next time I go to America, I will definitely go to Bath & Body Works and pick up some more of their body scrubs because I really enjoyed this. I think this is about $12.50. I can't quite remember. But I think you can also buy it on Amazon as well. I was just having a quick look where else I could buy it. So maybe I could pick it up there. But I think I might just wait for the next time I go on holiday and pick some up. The next body product I have totally run out of is the Bath & Body Works Shard Gel. Um, called In The Sun and yeah, totally used this up. Love the packaging of this one. It had coconut oil, shea butter and vitamin E. This was $12.50 and you got uh, 236 mils or eight fluid ounces. I love this one. It smells so, so nice. Really, really summer, tropical, like you're on a holiday scent. Um, really, really loved it. So again, can't get this from the UK, but when I go on holidays, um, in the US in the future will definitely be picking up more of their body washes because they smell really nice and they don't dry out your skin so I really like that. The next uh, sort of body product is the Niels Yard uh, Lavender and Aloe Vera Deodorant and it's for sensitive skin. I love this, this is 8.50. I pick mine up in places like Waitrose or you can get it from Niels Yard. A number of uh, places um, sell uh, this product so it's really easy to get hold of. I love this because it smells really nice and very relaxing and it's also good for sensitive skin so I think this is maybe my third bottle now of this and I've already went and repurchased another one and the roller version so I really really love the Nails Yards deodorant so if you haven't tried it and you've got sensitive skin I don't have super sensitive skin but in my sort of um, deodorants, I find actually sensitive deodorants are much better for me. So sticking sort of with body, we're going on to self tanners now. The next product I've run out of is the Bondi Sands Everyday Gradual Tanning Foam Dual Action Cocoa Butter Scented. So I absolutely love these. I think this is around $14.99 from memory and I get mine in places like Superdrug. They also sell it on ASOS. They sell it in Boots. So a lot of places sell 
products, um, this product now. I really love this uh, because it dries really quickly, it doesn't feel sticky on the skin and it doesn't smell really bad like Effect Tan and because it is gradual tanner you can build it up and keep control of it so you're not going to be like boom super tanned but straight away you will be like a, a couple of shades more tan like maybe two shades more tan than your natural but then when you put it on a number of days and you can get up to a full tan so you can really customize it keep control over it and it doesn't go streaky so really love that um i have already went out and bought another one of these um as i absolutely love it and i would say this is probably five or six bottles i've gone through now with this because i really love it so much i'd say it's definitely the best um gradual tanner that i found but i am trying out a lot of new tanning products just to be able to do a little video in the future of different effect tan products so that I can sort of have tested out a lot of different ones to let you know but this is definitely one that I keep coming back to so yeah I've already went out and bought another one and you do get 270 mils so it does last quite a good while um but yeah really really love it and not very expensive and actually this one uh 25p went to the Marie Curie um charity so really like that when you pick it up in super drugs they normally have the one that gives 25p to charity which i like so i normally try to buy it from that one the next uh product that i've run out is the james reed self tan express glow mask for your face and it looks like this um this is 50 mils so this product i really like it because you basically put it on 30 minutes for a light tan on your face and then you wash it off or for a more deep tan you put it on keep it on for an hour and I think it's an hour it's a max yeah an hour for a more deeper tan so because I'm quite fair I've only ever left it on for 30 minutes because I don't need to go for a deep tan I like this because it is so quick that's the number one reason it does have effect tan smell to it um but the thing I like best is I don't want to have to keep a tan on my face for like four hours and then eight hours I don't know it's for my face, I'm just like, I want it on my face, tan it, and then get it off my face. And with this one, because it's only 30 minutes, it goes on clear, so it's really easy. It's not like you're gonna look stupid. Just keep it on 30 minutes, watch a TV show, boom, wash it off, do a couple of errands around the house, do your laundry, wash it off, and you've already done your effect tan for your face, which I really like. And also, because it is specific for your face, I do like that because I don't put a body, like that body, foam one I wouldn't put that on my face because I'd be a bit scared to put it on my face so I like that this one is for your face and it's super super quick and this one's 50 mils and I think it was about 25 pounds so it's not super cheap because you don't get lots of uh, mils in it but I do really like it I haven't went and rebought this one and when I rebuy it I'll probably rebuy it from QVC because they do a bigger one of it and you get like 100 mils so it's a bit more cost effective so I think I'll pick up the 100 mil one next time so that it lasts longer and currently I'm trying out other face tanners to see how they perform as well but I would definitely re be rebuying this one and I definitely recommend it but I would say check out QVC because they do do the bigger one which is more cost effective. The next product I've run out of is the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser for normal to dry skin and it looks like this. It sells for six seventy five in Boots and um, nine pounds in Superdrug. So at the moment, it's cheaper to buy it from Boots. And in the US, I know you can buy this in a number of places, but it's really exciting that we can now buy this in places like Superdrug and Boots in the UK, as it's a really, really great, uh, very gentle face cleanser that will take off your makeup and leave your skin feeling very soft. And if you've got sensitive skin, I've really, really liked this. It's really soft on the skin it's not harsh on the skin and yeah it feels very hydrating and it also has hydraulic acid in it as well so it's a good anti-aging um very affordable facial cleanser so i will definitely be rebuying this it's um also fragrance free as well so if you don't like scents it doesn't have any smell which is really good and i like the pump as you can it's just very easy and clean to use so yeah definitely will be rebuying this and you get uh, 355 mils and 12 fluid ounces so really really love this and I picked this up in America but I will be able to now rebuy it from Boots as just looking online that is the best place to buy it for being the cheapest. So the next product that I've run out of is the oil-free eye makeup remover from Neutrogena and it looks like this you get 162 mils or 5.5 fluid ounces. I picked this up when I was in America it does uh, retail for nine around 10 pounds on Amazon. Um, but in America, I think it was about $550 or $6. It wasn't uh, very expensive. Um, 
Will I be rebuying this again? No, I will not be rebuying this again. It wasn't terrible, but it just, I felt like you had to use so much to get it to actually work. And I don't know, I just feel like it's not as good as the Nivea um, Double FX Eye Makeup Remover, which I find definitely the best that I've found from an affordable brand for taking off eye makeup remover. Um, sorry, taking off eye makeup and waterproof makeup. This takes off like some eye makeup, but it doesn't really take off the stubborn waterproof mascara or waterproof eyeliner really well. So this is not a product that I'll be rebuying, but I know some people may find this works for them or if you don't wear a lot of um, waterproof products, then it might be fine. But because I do have sensitive eyes because um, of having hay fever, I do wear, often wear waterproof um, eye makeup and it just doesn't really take it off. So definitely will not be rebuying this product again. And also, it's not really that easy to pick up in the UK, so I wouldn't want to spend £10 on something like this that didn't really work. When I mean, you could buy the Nivea Double FX Eye Makeup Remover for like £3.49. Just doesn't really make sense to rebuy this. The next product that I have run out of is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. And I got this, this is the 15ml uh, travel size one, and it looks like this. Um, the packaging is beautiful on this. Um, I got this in one of the Christmas advent calendars, so I haven't, like it's taken quite a long time to get through this as we're now in November. Um, I don't really feel like I would be rebuying this in a travel size or in a full size one. I didn't notice like a massive difference in the skin. It's not a horrible uh, moisturizer, it's just for me, there's better ones out there and it's not something that I would be buying or feeling like I wanted to go out and buy. Um, now that I've run out of this uh, travel size Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream, but I know a lot of people really, really love it and it works well for their skin. I just didn't feel like it did that much for my skin and at the price, it's just I didn't really feel like it's worth spending that amount of money on it when I could buy another moisturizer that I feel does better for less or something of a similar value that does more than the Charlotte Tilbury one. So for me, I won't be rebuying the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream personally. I wouldn't rebuy this at all. The next product I've run out of is the By Terry um, Rose uh, Lip Balm, which is the liquid one, not the little pot one. Um, this is absolutely amazing. I love this lip balm so much. Um, I like that it's got the applicator, so you don't have to use your fingers. Um, I love the, the scent. It's like a really nice um, rose scent, but not overpowering rose. It really hydrates your lips. And this was the travel size one, so it was, I think, five mils, so travel size one. I absolutely love this and have already repurchased a, another one of these because I love it for my handbag. It really moisturizes my lips. It's definitely my go-to lip balm for hydrating my lips because some lip balms I find actually dry out my lips, whereas this one actually really does work. So absolutely love it and have already rebought it. And it's. £14 from Space and K, the travel size one, and I think the full size one is around £36 or £39, but I like the travel size ones more because they're smaller for your handbag, and then also you can just keep it more hygienic and more fresh because you're replacing them on a more frequent basis. So for £14, really good quality, highly, highly recommend this lip balm. Um, so on to hair products. Um, you guys know how much I love hair products, and I have got quite a few to go through um, that I've now run out of. Um, so the first product I've run out of is the Aveda Thickening Tonic and this retails for around £20. I absolutely love this thickening tonic. It really, you get 100 mils, it really adds thickness over time. Like I feel like straight away you might be like, oh, what's it doing? But then I feel like it helps the quality of your hair to feel thicker. I've got very thin hair, very, um, each strand is very thin and I also don't have a lot of hair. So I really, really like it. It gives thickness rather than like buff up volume. It's more like making each strand of your hair feel thicker in the long run. So definitely, definitely will be rebuying this. I think this is my favorite thickening tonic that, or sort of volumizing type product that I've ever used. I absolutely love it. So highly, highly recommend it and will definitely be rebuying it. The next product I've run out of is the Bumble and Bumble um, BB Styling Lotion. And this retails for uh, 23 pounds. I will not be repurchasing this. Um, this isn't a terrible product. It's just I found better styling um, hair products, so I wouldn't be rebuying this. I feel like it's um, an okay product. It's just I feel like once you've tried more, 
products out there that, oh, I've got a little tiny bit left. Ooh, maybe one more go. But I won't be rebuying this um, as, yeah, I feel like there's better products out there for cheaper or products at a similar price that are better. So not a terrible product, just I feel like it doesn't do that much for my hair, so I won't be rebuying it. So the next product that I've run out of is It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In for Blondes and it looks like this. It retails for $19.95 from Ulta or in the UK, I think you can pick it up from Amazon for around £24. I bought this when I was in the US and whoa, I'm so happy I tried this. It's so good. It does 10 things for your hair, um, UV protection, thermal, detangles, restores, shine lots of different things and it's so, so good. Um, these are all the 10 things it does. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, but yeah, it's super good. It leaves your hair feeling really conditioned and really soft and I absolutely love it. You get 120 mils in it and I will definitely be rebuying this ASAP. They also do one for not blondes, which is in blue, which would be good for all hair types. Um, so really, really love that and definitely recommend this if you haven't tried it. If you're going to America or if you're from the US, definitely go try this. And if you're in the UK, you can always buy it in Amazon. But yeah, absolutely love this and highly, highly recommend and definitely, definitely rebuying. So the next product that I have run out of is the Olaplex uh, number three, which is a weekly treatment. It is really nice um, if you've got damaged hair to just put some um, like a treatment on once a week. And this one's very different than a conditioning type treatment. It's very much more strengthening the hair from within style. So putting real strength back in the hair rather than your hair feeling like, oh, it's really glossy or anything like that. It feels more like deep down doing good stuff for your hair. So I really like this and it is 100 mils. This used to be more expensive, but now I see you can get it for like 18 pounds on Amazon and things like that. So really, really recommend this if you've got colored hair or damaged hair or just hair that needs a bit more love. I really recommend this. And I think this is about my third bottle of this and will definitely be rebuying. It's the best weekly treatment that I've personally found. And I like using it because I recommend it if you're getting your hair highlighted or colored um, blonde, that it's good to actually have the hairdresser number one and two done when they're doing your color. So then it's good to have the at home one as well. And they've also launched the steps four and five, which is the shampoo and conditioner. So I really need to get those to try those to see if they're really good as well. But I really recommend the number three one. So the next product I've run out of is the IGK hydrating um, conditioner um, and it looks like this. Um, this is 22 pounds and you get 236 mils or eight fluid ounces. Um, I will not be rebuying this conditioner because it's not terrible. It's just for 22 pounds, I don't feel like it was amazing. And also the packaging is really quite cheap, um, I think for 22 pounds and yeah, it's kind of one of those ones that straight away, once you squeeze it, it goes like this and it just doesn't look great. And uh, I don't know, the conditioner is not awful, but if you've got really dry, damaged hair like I do, I feel like it's not the best, it's not the most hydrating. I want something a bit more hydrating than this, but if you've got like maybe normal hair, it would be okay. But because I've got very dry hair, I won't be going out and rebuying this because it wasn't as hydrating as I wanted it to be. So it's not awful, but it's just not amazing. So I won't be rebuying it. The next IGK product that I've run out of is the Bad and Bougie uh, Deep Repair Conditioner and it was £22 as well. I feel like this one was better for my hair because it was more hydrating. Um, again, for me, the packaging isn't amazing. It's quite cheap and I don't know, it just doesn't like come out the easiest. So you're like really squeezing. It's not the most practical of bottles. I find personally for getting a conditioner out. Um, it's not awful, this product is definitely better than the other one for dry hair, but I feel like there's so many other conditioners out there that I would rebuy this in the future, but just not right away because I wanna go out and try other ones. It left my hair feeling nice, but do I think the Windle and Middle one is better? I probably do. I think the Windle and Middle deep conditioning one or the nourishing one is actually better. So I feel like it might be a little while before I rebuy this one because I'll wanna try out other deep conditioners. So. I wouldn't say I would never buy this again, but I wouldn't be going out and rushing to buy it. But it's not awful, so yeah. But for 22 pounds, I kind of want it to be really much better than this, so I don't know. I'll have to think about it in the future, would I be rebuy it? At this stage, I'd probably say no, but maybe I will rebuy in the future. The last product I have run out of is the Morphe Setting Mist, and this is 15 pounds, and you can 
now buy Morphe from the Morphe store in the UK, which is great that we actually have physical stores of Morphe now. Um, but yeah, it's really lovely. Love this. Got a nice sort of deodorant style um, nozzle, so it sprays really fine mist. Really, really love it. So definitely will be rebuying this Morphe setting um, mist for your face, setting your uh, foundation and everything in place once you've done all your makeup. Really, really like it. So guys, um, that is all the products I've run out of. Let me know if you've tried any of these products or any products that you've run out of that you're gonna be rebuying or not rebuying. Also give this video a thumbs up if you like this style of video and I know we've gone through a lot um, of products today. Um, so I do always love to hear from you. So leave me a comment, do subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.